Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I want to continue talking about zombies because I feel like they are neglected this year. But today, I want to specifically talk about zombie supply drops. Now, I mentioned in a, a previous video that I think the zombie consumables are a little bit lackluster, but that doesn't change the fact that I still enjoy getting zombie supply drops or liquid divinium or fate and fortune cards, whatever you want to call it. I enjoy getting that sort of reward. And when it comes to zombie supply drops, the only way you can get it, as far as I'm aware, is ranking up. Obviously, you can buy it with COD points. However, when we compare just ranking up to what we can do in the multiplayer section, it is quite telling. Because in the multiplayer section, yes, you get them for leveling up. You also get them randomly after a certain amount of games. You know, at the end screen, it'll give somebody a random supply drop. Uh, but most importantly, there are uh, contracts as well as weekly and daily challenges. There are several other ways you can get supply drops, but that's what I really want to focus on today. The daily, weekly, special, and contract challenges. First and foremost, the biggest thing that I believe that can help the zombies community right now is these little challenges. These challenges push players to play the game more, as well as uh, force them to mix things up a little bit. And there's so many different ways to play zombies. There is a lot of content here in this zombies game mode. Granted, there's only one kind of two maps here, but uh, with the coming DLCs, we will get through two, three, four, five maps, and it will become easier and easier to replay this game mode if the maps are done well, of course. Some contracts or some challenges that I thought would be nice would be your basic standard survive X many number of rounds, uh, kill this amount of zombies, that sort of simple, but for stuff like the contracts, the time-based stuff, it could be open pack a punch under this amount of time or pack a punch x number of weapons and x amount of time it could be kill x amount of special zombies or what i thought would be kind of cool is kind of mix up the characters or, or the players uh choice of character kind of giving them different dialogue making them pay attention to different things and, you know get a hundred or a thousand i'm sorry kills as this character get a thousand kills using a shotgun with this character or something of that sort turn power on by this amount of time and for the easter egg people complete the easter egg in this amount of time and of course it can go it can grow to be map specific once we get more than just two maps but for now it could be you know get 500 kills on Grouston house Grouston house i don't know what you call it the little prologue uh, or you could just say prologue and then you can get like a hundred thousand or a thousand kills in the final reich i mean there's so many different things that you can do with challenges you can incentivize gamers, you can incentivize these players to play the map in a way that they haven't before. You can have a daily challenge of unlocking the classic or getting X number of kills with the classic. That would be pretty cool. Buy this number of blitzes, consume this many number of consumables, uh, get this amount of points during uh, a double points, you know, kill this many people during an insta kill. There's so many different ways you can go about these challenges. And the fact that I've kind of spouted off off the top of my head about a dozen or so in this one video means that there is endless amount amounts of content and challenges and contracts that we as gamers, as players, as zombie lovers can do. Not to mention you have a, albeit very simple, but you have a nice selection of perks in this game. And I don't mean blitzes, I mean actual perks like loadout stuff that you have to spawn in as. So you can even build challenges around using certain perks. Get this number of kills with your third weapon uh, with whatever perk that is. Having these challenges and then having it whenever you rank up would be so huge in terms of zombie supply drops. And you can have the same thing as multiplayer. You know, if you complete six out of six daily uh, challenges, you get a bonus supply drop. And if you get all three weekly within a week, you get a bonus rare supply drop, that sort of thing. And I've seen people, you know, you could even get just a free supply drop every 
X amount of kills, you know, just that. If you're going for those super high rounds, you can grind out those kills, get all of those supply drops, all that sort of stuff. I think that's a decent idea. That's a little bit, uh, you'd have to balance that very delicately, but I feel like that is a good idea because that kind of replaces the whole getting supply drops randomly after a match. You know, if you're going for a long zombies game, then it's X number of kills or even X number of rounds uh, in, in succession. We could even end that, you know, it's not just every 20 rounds. 20 rounds it's every 20 rounds in a row that would be pretty cool i would like to see that or something similar to that i think that's a good idea but i think i've made my point here zombie supply drops are incredibly underwhelming and i don't even want to talk about what's within the zombie supply drops because i don't feel like they're all that exciting anyway i feel like black ops 3 still is king when it comes to this whole loot system in terms of liquid divinium and gobble gums and what the gobble gums actually do i feel like that was the most fun and, and replayable uh, set of stuff even though i really do enjoy fate and fortune cards for some reason i just have a special place in my heart for gobble gums but I feel like adding in these supply drops and getting these challenges, just doing the challenges could be actually very fun. Uh, would be a really, really incredibly good way of making the zombies player feel more rewarded and have them something to do each and every day, each and every week. And it'll keep them coming back, altering their playing style, playing this beautiful zombies game mode that you have created. And now for some reason, are neglecting. And I completely forgot to mention that this is like the Winter Siege update, right, for Call of Duty World War II, and zombies got nothing. Where's the special zombies winter stuff? Where is that? It's all focused on the multiplayer, but zombies is just left in the dark. The Final Reich is a snowy map. Why not have challenges with the snow map on the Final Reich? I know there's only like one, two kind of maps here in the Final Reich, but the idea of you including zombies on the special special winter update is very important to the community. Look at the zombies community right now. It's very small. They're all moving to Fortnite because they just have nothing to work with. There's nothing to do in this zombies game mode. Even though it is a great map, it is a great mode, there's just nothing new, nothing new, nothing challenging. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. First of all, I want you guys to, to let me know, do you want to see more zombies content, World War II zombies content? Should I go back and do Black Ops 3 zombies content? Because I am going to finish. I have one, two maybe two more maps uh, of Zombies 101 that I need to do for Black Ops 3, and then I'll go back to Black Ops 1, start doing that. If you want to see that, I'm all down for that. I have stuff already working in the background for that. I'm just kind of waiting for the right time. I'm not sure. The Zombies community is very, very uh, concerning to me right now, but we'll see how this plays out. We'll see. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Are you interested in the Final Reich, or are you more interested in even Infinite Warfare Zombies or Black Ops 3 Zombies? Let me know how you, the zombie people, are feeling right now. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning. Oh, until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.